The lungs are part of it. So if one of us is unhealthy, it affects all of us. And Paul picks that up even in verses prior to this. 1 Corinthians 12, 21 through 26. The eye cannot say to the hand, I don't need you. And the head cannot say to the feet, I don't need you. On the contrary, those parts of the body that seem to be weaker are indispensable, and the parts that we think are less honorable, we treat with special honor. And the parts that are unpresentable are treated with special modesty, while our presentable parts need no special treatment. But God has put the body together, giving greater honor to the parts that lacked it, so that there should be no division in the body, but that its parts should have equal concern for each other. Each one is tightly knit together. Each one of us. And when one of us is spiritually ill, we all feel the impact. And Paul preaches that as well in verse 26. If one suffers, every one of us suffers. If one is honored, everyone rejoices with it. So the health of the church depends upon the health of its members. And we need to make sure that well, it's not just that I'm healthy, but I need to make sure Jeannie's healthy, Theobo's healthy, so on and so on and so on. But it's not just me as a pastor. Dylan needs to make sure Lori's healthy. Lori needs to make sure I'm healthy. I need to make sure Tristan's healthy. I need to make sure, actually, we all need to make sure everyone's healthy. Building one another up, spurring one another on in the ways of our Lord so that we can be all that God wants us to be. To see the miracles, to see the growth, to be the church. So we'll come back to those ten things and I'm going to quickly run through them because it not only addresses the church, but I'm going to do them in reverse order, but addresses us as individuals. Do you regularly and joyfully praise and worship God? I pray you do. Do you prioritize in your life, the need to tell others about Jesus. Prioritize regularly. Be like John Hyde. And don't, you don't have to go to the extreme of see one person saved. But I will tell one person today about Jesus. Start there. Do you naturally experience and exude joy and gratitude because of John, Jesus? Are you being a good steward of what God has given you and sacrificially giving to help others? Do you expect and see the supernatural in your own life? Ask God to open your eyes that you may see. Are you dedicated to the practice and privilege of prayer? Are you fully participating in communion and not just partaking, but participating in communion? Are you building loving relationships within your church family, with your own family, and your community? Are you devoted to the study of the, of the teachings of the apostles and the word of God? Lastly, and most importantly, are you filled and being led by the Spirit of God? God is there and He wants to Make sure that you are a healthy child. He isn't going to pack your daily lunchbox with ho-hos and ding dongs But he wants to fill it with prayer, evangelism, love, joy, studying the word, and so much more. If you want to see this church grow, do that yourself. Don't just say, well, that belongs to Dan. That belongs to Keith. That belongs to Theo. It belongs to us. The only people we have to blame if our church is unhealthy is not God, but ourselves. Let us be healthy. Cast those spiritual ding dongs out the window. <laughs> Let's pray. Lord, we just want to thank you for this time as we gather here and we get ready to partake, but not only partake, but participate with you in Holy Communion it is a time when we reflect upon who you are and ask you to join us. <clears throat> Let your spirit come upon us in a fresh new way that we hear you speak to our very hearts today. And dear Lord, I am expecting it, and I know you will answer it. Thank you for being here. 
Help us to be healthy for you. In Christ's name, amen. amen. Shall we stand and sing?